So the training that we're executing today is called a stress shoot. Uh, the course of fire behind me is designed to simulate combat conditions and it's gonna elevate their heart rate and it's gonna get their blood pumping and it's gonna stress them out. They're able to think without having to actually stop and they're able to perform under pressure. So uh, they're, they're gonna be moving, shooting, communicating, and um, you're doing a magazine change and you know making sure that you have proper muzzle awareness and manipulating your safety in an appropriate manner. This is as close as we can get to simulating combat without actually being in combat. And the reason that we want to do that is so that we can get used to performing under those conditions. Start at the individual, we build through the team, squad, platoon, company, and then like that's how we prepare ourselves. So this is how we get ready to be deployed. Uh, the, the, old cliche is, you know, an uh, ounce of sweat will save a gallon of blood, right? So that's why we, we're going to be sweating a lot today. This is kind of like, not necessarily new in the way that it's never been done before, but it's just um, a, a different look at some of the foundational skills that we train on in a different way. And it just kind of combines everything together, right? This will build not only their skills, but it also builds soldier confidence. Like they can execute a course of fire such as this, that's gonna be very challenging, uh, that they can do many, many other tasks and be confident in that. And confidence goes a long way when you're talking about an infantry battle, gunfight, like you need to be confident in what you're doing and how do you build confidence? Well, you, you train and you do training that is very tough and realistic. The challenging training is something that is going to make us better and a more lethal fighting force and more able to defend the United States of America in any situation that we would need to be called upon to do. So yeah, so this is a, a dry iteration that they're about to run through right now. So we have the shooter and then we have the safety and the safety is just going to verify that everything is happening in a safe manner. We uh, emphasize safety in our training. There's no reason that any soldiers need to be injured in training, you know. So we, we take steps to mitigate that risk. So um, to, to start the event, you'll see the shooter is doing 15 push-ups. They're now going to secure their weapon and maneuver through the tires uh, and then they are gonna crawl underneath this barbed wire up to the first fighting position. They're gonna engage uh, two targets with two rounds in each target. And then they're gonna bound to the next target once the safety says that they're safe. And then they're gonna engage two more targets, but there's gonna have to execute a magazine change at this station. Yep, weapons on safe. And then they're gonna drag a simulated casualty drag that casualty at predetermined distance until the casualty is past that marker and then they run up to that third fighting position where they're going to have to correct a malfunction. We've simulated a malfunction in the, the loadout. And then they're going to have to pick up a heavy thing and then run to the end of the course of fire. Now they're being timed during this and any misses that they encounter downrange um, are going to count as a 20 second penalty.
Yeah, I really try to focus on the fundamentals, just go back to getting a really nice, like, nice base, making sure I'm not, like, out of control with where I'm holding the weapon and how it's uh, in my body, like, making sure I'm not all, like, loosey-goosey with it. And, uh, you know, taking time if time is necessary. Don't want to rush anything, so. And then the buddy drag? Yeah, no, he's not my buddy anymore, no. <laughs> yeah, but that was, uh, that was a heavy but good one. But, yeah, it was, uh... It's definitely good that we start incorporating that now. You know, just going out and shooting a few rounds and coming back in doesn't really get you ready for anything else besides doing that exact task. But if we can add a little stress, a little sweat, pick the heart rate up, I think it benefits everybody, especially if you go and actually do it for real. So, yeah, it's very important to do. Uh, it really replicates like what we do in the field. Uh, when you're in a gunfight, you're always tired. You know, you ruck up through the mountains with a heavy bag, uh, 16, 17 hours, 20 hour movements, attacking something at dawn. You're exhausted, you're tired, you're underfed, underhydrated. So to do this replicates that feeling that you have in your lungs, the adrenaline's pumping. You can't train that without doing this. Biggest thing when you're in combat or training for is to slow down. People don't think about that. I call it tactical patience. You know, you don't want to rush to failure. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. I'd say join the guard because it's the best vehicle for your human development. There's been no place I've ever found to drive me to be better as a person and as a man. That to come here with these men, learn how to be a better warrior every time we're out here, and nothing pushes you through to be a better person than the struggles we have to fight. <laughs>Yeah, I really try to focus on the fundamentals, just go back to getting a really nice, like, nice base, making sure I'm not, like, out of control with where I'm holding the weapon and how it's uh, in my body, like, making sure I'm not all, like, loosey-goosey with it. And, uh, you know, taking time if time is necessary. Don't want to rush anything, so. And then the buddy drag? Yeah, no, he's not my buddy anymore, no. <laughs> yeah, but it was, uh, that was a heavy but good one. But, yeah, it was, uh... It's definitely good that we start incorporating that now. You know, just going out and shooting a few rounds and coming back in doesn't really get you ready for anything else besides doing that exact task. But if we can add a little stress, a little sweat, pick the heart rate up, I think it benefits everybody, especially if you go and actually do it for real. So, yeah, it's very important to do. Uh, it really replicates like what we do in the field. Uh, when you're in a gunfight, you're always tired. You know, you ruck up through the mountains with a heavy bag. Uh, 16, 17 hours, 20 hour movements, attacking something at dawn. You're exhausted, you're tired, you're underfed, underhydrated. So to do this replicates that feeling 
that you have in your lungs, the adrenaline's pumping. You can't train that without doing this. Biggest thing when you're in combat or training for is to slow down. People don't think about that. I call it tactical patience. You know, you don't wanna to rush to failure. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. I'd say join the guard because it's the best vehicle for your human development. There's been no place I've ever found to drive me to be better as a person and as a man. That to come here with these men, learn how to be a better warrior every time we're out here, and nothing pushes you through to be a better person than the struggles we have to fight.